Dear students, welcome to EPG Partshala. During this session, we will discuss complexometric titrations, advantages of complexometric titrations, indicators for complexometric titrations, and applications of complexometric titration. Advantages of complexometric titration. Complexometric titrations, they are fast and accurate. Moreover, the difficulty in formation of stepwise complexes can be reduced with the help of uh, with the help of polydentate ligand. For example, this thing we can uh, consult uh, with this thing we can explain with the help of an example. For example, if we react four chloride molecule with bismuth, the stepwise reaction includes bismuth plus chloride, giving you the bismuth chloride monochloride, and K1 is 160. Bismuth plus bismuth chloride plus chloride, the bismuth dichloride and the K for cons equilibrium constant for reaction is 20. Similarly, stepwise equilibrium constants they are obtained and the equilibrium constant K1, K2, K3, K4. They are combined to give the common equilibrium constant which is usually 6.4 into 10 raised to power 6. Now, in this case, the difficulty lies in the in the portion that with two or three or more than three complexes they exist in the same time at the same time and the end point is not sharp in these because of the uh, existence of more than one complexes end point is not sharp in contrast to these multi-step reaction if we use hexadentate ligand that is edta EDTA will form single step reaction. Single step reaction is more accurate and more sharp endpoint will be observed. Generally, disodium salt of EDTA is used. The formation constant for various metal ions with EDTA are given below. The data indicates that except group 1 metal ion, all the other metal ion including the transition metals, they form stable, almost stable complex with metal uh, with EDTA and high pH of solution must be maintained during the EDTA titrations. Types of EDTA titration. Four different types of EDTA titrations are generally observed. One is, uh, first is direct titration. These titrations involve titration of metal ion with ligand directly. Some auxiliary ligands such as ammonium tartrate and citrate etc can be employed to prevent the formation of metal hydroxides. Back titrations. Back titrations are required where the direct titrations are not feasible or direct titrations are not possible. These conditions include precipitation of metal in necessary pH range required for titration, slow reaction between metal and ligand, unavailability of suitable indicator. During these titration, generally what is done, for example, if we have to titrate aluminium with EDTA, aluminium is added to EDTA and the solution is heated so that the formation of aluminium EDTA complex can be complete because aluminium and EDTA, they react very slowly. In that case, the excess of EDTA is titrated with another metal ion. This is the principle of back titration. Substitution titrations. Titration where end point is not sharp or metal indicator complex is not formed. These titrations are also suitable where metal EDTA complex is more stable than magnesium EDTA and calcium EDTA complex. Alkalimetric titrations. These titrations are based on principle of redox titration with liberated hydrogen from reaction of heavy metal ion with disodium salt of EDTA. The titration is carried out without any buffer with base like NaOH. The endpoint in complexometric uh, titration is shown by means of pH indicators. The concept of PM, so PM indicator, PM indicator arises if K is the stability constant, K is equal to Mx oblique m, m concentration of m and concentration of x log m is equal to log mx divided by log uh, divided by x minus log k therefore if solution is made 
such that x is the concentration of x is equal to concentration of mx pm is equal to pk this means that solution containing equal activity of metal complexes and free chelating agent the concentration of metal ion will remain roughly constant and will be buffered in same way as hydrogen ion metallochromic indicators are used for endpoint detection colored organic compounds form complexes with metal ion stability of metal edta complex should be higher than metal indicator complex common metallochromic uh, indicators are ereochrome black t which is red in complexed form and blue in free form then uh, xylenol orange which is red in complexed form and yellow in free form ereochrome black t is generally used in the ph range 7 to 10 which includes complexation of calcium magnesium and zinc ebt is triprotic ligand and has different structure at varying ph levels between ph 7 and 10 it exist as dianionic form and blue in color and form red color complex with metal ion edta titration selectivity wide variety of metal ions form complexes with edta so for the determination of particular metal in presence of other interferences masking agents are added to bind interferences after the initial titration releasing agents are added to proceed in forward direction following methods are used for masking precipitation during the titration of hard water co-precipitation of calcium and magnesium can be avoided if magnesium ions are precipitated as hydroxide at ph 12 and calcium alone can be detected in the initial stages oxidation state transition metal ion exist in various oxidation states the stability constant for one oxidation state may differ from stability constant of another oxidation state for example iron 3 forms stable complexes with edta as compared to iron 2 complexes ph for the reaction m plus h2y resulting into my plus 2h the acidity increases as the equilibrium of reaction shift towards the left direction so the high ph is maintained throughout the reaction using a buffer solution the calcium and magnesium ions are determined at high ph however low ph is maintained for determination of iron 3 complexes applications of complexometric titration includes determination of amount and amount of calcium and magnesium present in hard water hardness of water is measured in terms of calcium and magnesium ions present in water it may be temporary if carbonate and bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium are present now the calcium and magnesium bicarbonate carbonates they can be removed by simple boiling so it forms temporary hardness if if chloride and sulfate of calcium and magnesium are there then they will form permanent hardness and they are needed to be removed with some ion exchange method soft water has hardness of less than 60 mg calcium carbonate per liter calcium carbonate is the unit to represent to express hardness of the water that may uh, soft water they have hardness 60 less than 60 calcium carbonate unit per liter uh, that may cause only corrosion corrosion of pipes but if the hardness increases above 260 mg calcium carbonate per liter in that case it can lead to deposition of calcium and magnesium mineral it can uh, it can lime scale it can form scales in uh, heat water heater and pipes etc analysis of water pipette out 25 ml of sample solution into titration flask add 4 ml of ph 10 buffer two drops of ereochrome black t indicator heat the solution to about 60 degree and 
titrate with EDTA solution until purple color is obtained. Shake the solution then continue titrating adding EDTA drop wise with constant shaking until blue color no tinge until blue color with no tinge of purple is obtained. This gives total calcium and magnesium concentration. Determination of calcium only. Pipette out 25 ml of sample solution. Add 3 ml of 50% NaOH. The magnesium 2 will be precipitated as magnesium hydroxide. Shake the solution vigorously. Add 2 drops of calcon indicator and titrate with EDTA drop wise until the drop of EDTA turn the solution blue but purple color will appear within 20 seconds. Allow the solution to stand for 5 minutes with occasional stirring. Some of the calcium is precipitated as calcium carbonate. This allow dissolution of calcium carbonate to ensure the correct end point. Continue the titration unless blue color persist for more than 20 seconds. Calculation for the same uh, titration is 1 ml of 0.01 molar EDTA is equal to 0, uh, 0.4008 milligram of calcium. 1 ml of 0.01 mole EDTA is equal to 0.2731 milligram of magnesium ion. Volume of EDTA consumed with EBT for total hardness, calcium 2 and magnesium is equal to XML. Volume of EDTA consumed with calcon indicator for calcium only is equal to YML. Milligram of calcium is equal to 0.4008Y. Milligram of magnesium is equal to 0.2731 into X minus Y that will give you the calcium and magnesium ion differently or separately. CEC. CEC means cation exchange capacity of soil. Cations are positively charged particles such as copper 2, zinc 2. The cations are held tightly on soil. Though the soil particles are made up of silicates but their replacement with aluminium plus 3 due to isomorphous substitution results into net negative charge. This charge is neutralized with cations present in the soil. The negative charge associated with isomorphous substitution are considered to permanent that is these charges do not change with pH changes. However, if organic matter is added to the soil, the 4 to 5, 50 times higher pH dependent CEC per given weight than clay. Effect of CEC on soil. Potassium and magnesium deficiency can be associated with low soil. Soil pH will decrease at intervals for low CEC soils. Procedure to determine CEC. To 5 gram of soil sample in 100 ml centrifuge tube, add 50 ml of 1 normal sodium acetate where pH should be maintained at 5. Stir with glass rod. The suspension, will, uh, suspension is to be digested in a near boiling water bath for 30 minutes with stirring. To, the suspension sent, should be centrifuged and decanted to remove supernant liquid. Uh, containing the soluble salts. The residue are washed with one normal sodium acetate with 30 minute digestion in the boiling water bath followed by one normal calcium chloride washing. Excess salts are removed by washing with 99% of acetone until excess calcium chloride is removed. Cation exchange for all other cation insoluble in soil are removed by washing with one normal sodium acetate and supernant collected in 250 ml conical flask. 10 ml ammonia buffer is added to maintain the pH. EBT indicator is added. Two drops of EBT indicators are added. 
and solution is titrated against EDTA till a deep ocean color is developed. Mini equivalent exchange cap, uh, cation exchange capacity per 100 gram is equal to ml of EDTA normal that divided by into 100 divided by mass of soil sample is observed. Dear students, during this session we have learnt about complexometric titrations, role of indicator in complexometric titrations, factor affecting the complexometric titrations and above all we have learnt about the importance of complexometric titration in everyday life like determination of hardness of water, determination of calcium in all type of formulations like uh, whether it is injection or tablet and determination of cation exchange capacity of soil. Thank you students.